When I grow up, I want to be an astronaut. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor. When I grow up, I want to be a dentist. More pain, more gain. I am because I say I am. My goal is to become. I am success. Okay, I think I'm ready. Marcus, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us because your life has created a buzz in the United States. I have a few questions that I would like to ask you today. What's your first and most vivid memory as a child? My first and most vivid memory as a child would probably be playing at the park with my mother. Uh, she took really, really good care of me when I was a child, and uh, I can definitely remember when she used to take me to the parks and, you know, play baseball with me and, you know, push me on the swings and, uh, you know, push me down the slide. I think that my childhood, you know, was probably the best part. Children develop lifelong relationships with people who are present more days than they are absent. They don't have a concept of seasonal relationship. The only way they understand interaction is through consistent action. If you intend to develop a relationship with the child, be there, stay there, be consistent, for they are only innocent souls. I have goals. Failure is not an option for me. When I grow up, I will succeed. Be something. Become something. What dreams and goals did you have for your life as a child? Uh, my dreams as a child would probably be being a doctor. My mother actually was a doctor, so you know I aspired to be just like her. We all have battle-scarred years. Moments that remind us that we're human. Sometimes, God takes us through these battle moments so that we can remain humble. No matter when they appear, let God pull you back and cause you to look at things differently. For most of us, our adolescent years were our battle-scarred years. For without them, we would never know how to fight. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. became, so I can be. President Barack Obama became, <laughs> so I could be. The way you see yourself determines how much power others have over you. Learn to see people as gifts and not as items. A child should never be defined by their problem. They should be defined by their potential. I am filled with lots of potential. Nothing can stop a man on a mission. So you say that your mother was a doctor, but yet you had this sudden twist of faith that occurred in your life. What drove you to this act of violence? Okay, well, since my mother was a doctor, I hardly saw her, so, uh, and I didn't know my father. So over the past of the years, uh, I had this built up anger about not knowing my father and not seeing my mother on a daily basis as the other kids. A man transitions from boyhood to manhood when he becomes his own boss. 
when he becomes his own principal, when he doesn't wait on his mother or his father to punish him before he makes a permanent change. But what happens when life punishes you and you have nowhere to go or no one to turn to? What becomes your declaration of purpose? What becomes your decision to find yourself, to refocus and charge ahead? What is the one thing that you always wanted out of life? Honestly, the one thing I wanted out of life was honestly just to be loved. Yeah.